Every year, some three million people visit Whistler, some just for the day, some to stay overnight. But how did it grow to become such a world-class destination? Veronica Cooper takes a look back at the mountain's early days. We have um, quite a few of Whistler. This album is filled with beautiful BC Magazine archive photos of Whistler Ski Resort. It was around 1858 the pioneers began exploring the region but it really didn't kind of boom until about the 1880s when the Pemberton Trail was opened. And then that's when we had the uh, trappers and the miners and all those rugged men up there. And once that opened, I think there was more of an influx of the pioneer folk. The next big change was in 1911 when John Miller arrived in Whistler. And he was a big strapping Texan and he was a trapper and he had a way house up there where people would stop and stay. On a visit to Vancouver, he met an American couple who wanted to open a fishing lodge. And he regaled them of the stories of these amazing lakes up in the mountains and they thought this would be a good idea to go up and check it out. They took a boat to Squamish, hiked in to the community known as Alta Lake eventually bought 10 acres and in 1913 built Rainbow Lodge, the largest west of Banff. Coincidentally, at the same time, the railway came through. So therefore, Vancouverites were able to take a train up into the mountains for the first time. And that's when Alta Lake just went boom. By the 1930s, there was a small village. Life at Alta Lake hummed along with mining, logging, tourism. Then came the 1960s. A group of uh, businessmen got together and they realized that there was a golden opportunity up in the mountains. To open a ski hill and get the Olympics to BC, they formed the Garibaldi Olympic Development Association. They had no electricity, no sewer, no roads, but they were able to put in a chairlift uh, two tow ropes and a gondola. In 1974, the NDP government took notice. They realized that things were going gangbusters up there. Lots of squatters and hippies and snow bums and the village was being developed haphazardly and they put a, a development freeze upon it. And created the first resort municipality in Canada called Whistler. It was either because of the sound of the wind coming down or the marmots, and that's up to conjecture. I think it's more romantic having the marmots myself. Now, around three million people visit Whistler every year. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.